Hello, my name's Charlie Borman, and uh, as you can see, this is a van. I know I'm not known for vans, but very kindly, I have been asked by uh, What Car to review a whole bunch of vans. I'm a van driver myself. I absolutely love my van, and a lot of motorcyclists uh, and people who race motorbikes and all that kind of stuff often have vans. So today, I'm going to be talking about this van here. It's a Mercedes E Citan. It's their first attempt at a small electric van, and. Um, we're gonna we're gonna have a look at it. It's twinned with the with the Renault Kangoo, so the small electric van um, category is quite congested. Its rivals are Ford, Citroen, Peugeot, and Vauxhall, and they're all competing for the same space. So anyway, let's go and have a look at it. So the first thing that uh, springs to mind is how comfortable it is and how nice the driving position is. And, and as you would expect from a Mercedes, that the seats and, and, and the finish is all lovely and comfortable too. So driving along a little bit, it does feel very responsive. And um, you know, the braking and the, and the cornering, it rides really nicely. Um, it absorbs the bumps. It, and it feels very kind of, when you, when you turn and, and, and take corners, it, it, it doesn't feel too pitchy or rolling. It's a very comfortable, ride and it kind of wherever you point it goes i don't feel like i've been sort of sloshed around a bit the seat is holding me in position and i really like that it feels like you're driving a car if that makes sense um and one of the things that i've noticed having driven quite a lot of electric vehicles i i don't know if any of you know but i did a i did a tv show with a guy called Ewan mcgregor doing long way up we took two electric motorcycles from the bottom of Argentina to Los Angeles. So I've spent a lot of time in an electric vehicle and what's really nice is that the engine noise is taken away. So it's actually quite a peaceful ride. And um, you know, there's very little wind noise. It's very well insulated. So it, 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 it means you can sort of carry on and drive stresslessly or stressless less uh, for longer. So the e Tan is not as powerful as some of its rivals, but as electric vehicles go, you know there, there is always a little bit of pickup on on the on the motors. They you, you can feel it if you if you accelerate hard now, like I'm accelerating, you can feel that it's not it's not too bad. So it has a um, a 45 kilowatt battery, and it has a range of 174 miles, which is pretty good in its class. Uh, it's one of the slowest um, at charging, and I think if you're running a business out of your vehicle and doing a lot of mileage that's um that could be a negative when you when you drive electric vehicles um you rely a little bit on the regenerative ability so when you take your foot off the gas and that creates energy back into the battery this one only has three settings of how much or how little regenerative braking you want whereas a lot of the other vehicles within this class have up to five settings but I'm not sure about that I think by the time you fiddled around with with settings and stuff like that you're probably going to settle on one setting anyway and that'll probably be that so I'm looking down at the at the dashboard now as I'm driving along and and, and it produces a, a very nice image for you and it, it presents a lot of information really quickly so at a glance it's it looks it looks pretty good i've got the heated seats on it's a bit chilly today and they're working very nicely um the steering wheel's really nice um you know, lots of functions for you to be able to use while you're driving along and visually i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of vision here and the the, the rear view mirrors look very good you know i could get down and look at the at the wheels so when i'm not grinding the the, the hubs when i'm pulling over on the side of the road but uh, so yeah, and all in all, it's a very nice package. So the first thing that um, strikes me when, when you sit in the cab is that it's, it's very wide, it's very spacious. Everything's laid out really nicely in front of me for the driver. Everything seems to be in the, in, in the right place. I also noticed that I was sitting in the passenger seat as well, and that has a lot of space and it's, it's comfortable. And I think if you're gonna be sitting in a van for a long period of time, um, that's you know super important. The other thing which really strikes you as well is the build quality and the interior. It's, it's very much of a sort of Mercedes interior. The whole thing just sort of sort of reeks of of of, of niceness and, and and you sort of want to touch all the surfaces. Um, it has this piano uh, plastic on here, which is which is all very nice touches, along with the classic Mercedes vents. Um, 
my always thing about these plastic, this shiny plastic, you can get very um, dull very quickly with your fingertips and stuff like that. But the whole layout when you're looking at it and when you're driving, you know, everything is at your fingertips and the, the display works really easily. It all seems to work really well. Also, I'm sitting here and, and it's actually very comfortable. Um, and you can put your arms in the right places. So if you're driving for long periods, um, it's, it's, it's nice. One of the things that, um, that you notice in cars is, is, is as you're driving along, you know, how easy is it to, to use the display? And, you know, some, some, some cars that, or vans that, you know, all the buttons or the things you have to press are so small um, that it makes it very difficult. But, but this one seems to be pretty good. So you can easily find um, an address and it's, and it's quite quick which is good see there we go is being calculated I'd, I'd already pre-done a, a postcode so it just shows you how quickly it goes sometimes there's a big lag isn't there i think also what's very nice is that everything you're, you're doing on the touch screen you can do a lot of that on the steering wheel as you go so so it, it keeps your hands on the on the steering wheel which is which is not a bad thing there's plenty of storage space you've got a nice glove compartment here which is quite big um you've got the center um, console here which is another really big well where you can store stuff cups you've got a phone holder charger there as well um, you have uh, you have some space just on the dashboard here as well and then also up here I suppose if you can if you want your clipboards or paperwork and everything that can all sit up here as well so so it's nice this this particular one has got all the mod cons on it it has you know all the stuff that that, that you've come to uh, expect from from vehicles these days it seems to have it all but you know all of that comes at a price it's twinned up with the with the Renault Kangoo and and that has almost the same spec but but is quite a lot cheaper so it just depends whether or not you're you're into the badge or or, or into your into your wallet uh, as depend of which one you would take Ooh, well, actually, it's quite spacious in here. Um, interestingly, all the models of the Citan, from the electric to the diesel, uh, all have the same capacity to carry. And often with um, with electric vehicles, you know, your capacity is, is reduced. So this one quite happily does what all the others do. You can get a longer version of this as well, the long wheelbase version, so you can cram a little bit more in. Nice little um, easy access door on the side. You know, you can get your stuff out without having to go around the back. But the other thing I, I like about this, what I like is, is this is this matting on the floor here. It's 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 grooved and it's non-slip, so the stuff doesn't slide around. And there's anchor points everywhere as well. What I've noticed, which is fantastic, even on the on the side walls here, they're all over the place. So you can strap everything down, which is a really good thing. Uh, you can never have enough anchor points. Also, because you can you can fit shelving in here as well, whatever the practicalities you need for your business. Um, it's it's very versatile, and they've obviously thought about what you want to do to, to customize it, and 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 um, and that's super achievable. You've got power in the back here, uh, so you can you can charge your tools or whatever it is that you want. Doors open nice and wide to get everything in. I kind of feel spacious, but the most important thing, does it fit my motorbike? And hmm. I don't think so. So I suppose it's all down to what you really want, isn't it? I mean, do you want the Mercedes badge? Do you want the very high spec that's in the, in the van? It feels really comfortable. It has a lot of safety features that is really good. It, it has an unlimited mileage warranty for three years. I think the big thing about this one is really, you know, is the cost. Um, when you look at the Renault Kangoo, which is which are, they're both pretty much the same vehicle, you know it's not as as well specced up, but but the price difference is is very big. You know it's down to whether or not you want that badge. What badge do you want on the front of this van? So the e Tan is um, engaging to drive. Uh, it has a really smart interior, lots of buttons to press. It has limited practicalities though, and it's quite high priced. So those, I suppose, count against it, but um, she saw is a pretty thing. So for your next van fix, go to whatcar.com.